Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac Energy reading for you, Aries, for the week of August 1st. So here we go into August of 2022. Hope you guys are all doing great. Let me get you a Moon Oracle card here. Surrender to the Divine, Aries. That is the full moon. Surrender to the Divine. All right, what are you trying to let go of? Let's see. Tiger, so you're feeling very focused. Oh, there's another one, a hummingbird. So you are doing some transforming here. You are very focused on something though, really coming into something focused with your eye on the prize here. Interesting with that hummingbird kind of flittering around and the crow with a lot of information. You're sitting on a lot of information. Interesting so far, Aries. I like this passion I'm feeling from you. Let's see. Let's get a let's get a tarot card for Aries. Ace of Water, a new beginning in emotions. The Fool, a very good new beginning. Uh, looks like in emotions. And Eight of Earth, so maybe a new beginning at work. Love this. I love this. It's like you're playing a new instrument now. You have worked really, really hard for something, and you're just taking that leap of faith. And just letting go, just letting go. I love that. All right, what's on the bottom of the deck? Five of water, five of cups. So you're walking away. You're not just noticing the three cups that have spilled out on the ground. You are noticing the two full cups behind you. You're turning around. Aries is turning around. What's on your mind? What are you thinking about? Let's see. What is Aries thinking about? Aries, what are you thinking about? Archangel Michael with temperance coming through to kind of temper this focus a little bit. Don't get too <laughs> one-sided here with something you have planned, something you have going on here. But Archangel Michael is with you trying to balance this energy out, trying to bring in this new beginning of emotion for you. He's got the sun and the moon in each hand and uh, is really trying to balance out this energy. Because I do see this energy now of the air and the ground, the, the um, opposites kind of coming in here. Let's see what that's all about. What else? What else is Aries thinking about? Page of Swords, so new ideas coming in, new epiphanies, new revelations about maybe the workplace. I am still seeing the workplace with that Eight of Earth up there, so. But that is about communication, things coming in, ideas coming in, um, epiphanies, revelations, things like that coming in for Aries. And strength, look at this, the Aries Leo card here coming in uh, with the infinity, with the H. So you are really busy here. You're multitasking. You've got a lot of good ideas coming in, a lot of new ideas, a lot of new energy entering into you. Um, and you've got the strength got courage you've got bravery to take this brave new step of yours i wonder what that's all about let's get a little more clarification what else is aries thinking about queen of cups so you've got the ace of cups and the queen of cups this is definitely new beginnings in emotions you're really um portraying your emotions differently than you used to with the eight here with the infinity here you're, you're just kind of taking that other side of the emotion now you're trying this new new mask of yours with these new emotions that you're allowing to come into you so that's really interesting you're opening up here you're opening up to the idea of balance i like that with the hummingbird and the tiger with this new balance of yours it's like you found your footing you found your ground here Hermit, you had to go inside your heart to follow your own light. It got a little chaotic there for a minute, but now you are really finding your own balance here. You you found this kind of personal cloud that holds you up and carries you throughout the day without letting you fall too far to one side or the other. The Empress, you've got some major arcana here coming in, Aries. So you've got major arcana. You've got three out of the four up in the mind space and you've got two already out of the four in the heart space but you are feeling very nurturing very emotional very loving very compassionate you're really taking care of the world right now you're taking care of others outside of yourself it's like you took some time to take care of yourself here find what you really need you were a little scattered there you're 
you didn't know which way to kind of move your energy toward here because there seemed to be too many options. Maybe you were working too many hours and you couldn't find that time to really just relax and be you and uh, just take a soothing uh, break. But now you are trying to find that time this week coming into August 1st. You're going to make the time to take care of yourself, to nurture yourself. Look at this, another major arcana coming into the heart space with justice. This is absolutely beautiful, Aries. You have found some real balance here. Look at the balance you have found here with just taking a time out for a minute. It's like you isolated yourself just for a minute to take this time out to find this new perspective of yours. You're seeing yourself, but you're seeing yourself as the stronger, wiser person. Like you're, you're, uh, you're cheering yourself on. You're giving yourself motivational speeches. Look at the hanged man comes out as well. So you have four major arcana in the heart line here, Aries. This is a big, big change for you. You're really seeing everything differently. You're seeing your whole uh, path differently. You've taken this different turn where you're taking a leap of faith here with the fool up in the ether. And you took a minute to really find that enlightenment, to find that peace within yourself, to find that contentment within yourself instead of looking outside for others to bring you contentment or happiness. Uh, Aries is like, no more. I'm doing this myself. I'm strong enough. I'm the leader here of my own life and taking control. And look what that brings in. Messages of love. People are noticing that you are taking control of your own life path here, your own experience and they want in they want to share this with you they see that balance they see that um security that you have within yourself the the elevation you have gone through they really see that and they're going to be reaching out if they haven't already by august 1st that week especially that week you're going to get lots of messages of love everybody wants to be with aries because they've figured it out what else what else is in the foundation for aries Page of Wands, you really are finding your own fire here. It's not listening to anyone else say, this is how you do it. This is how it's supposed to be. This is the way it's always been done. Aries has really broken free of any conditioning, any programming. Uh, it's, just, it's just time for you to rise above anything like that. You're seeing all these new ideas, these new perspectives, new people around you, new faces around you, people revealing who they really are, their true authentic self. Uh, selves around you you're reading new information information coming in from spirit about your uh, friends who you can trust your partners your workplace really bringing you this sense of knowing this sense of I've got this I know what I'm doing now I, I have a grip on this I have a real grip on this now beautiful 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 energies energy coming into you Aries I love this Get one more card in the foundation and then we'll get some clarification on what this newfound uh, freedom is for you. Oh my God, death and rebirth. I knew that was going to come out here sooner or later because this is a whole new Aries. This is a whole new day. It's like someone flipped a script on you, Aries. You were feeling so emotional, so stuck, so dark, so... Uh, just in this energy here where it was just so dark you could not see this enlightenment you tried you tried to read you tried to hang out with people that were seeing the light here and you just couldn't seem to grasp it something happened here where you woke up and you said i am getting this i am not going to be left behind in this newfound world that everyone seems to be finding this new enlightenment that everyone seems to be obtaining here i'm going to have a piece of this and aries you just went for it something happened there was a switch here something really clicked within you where you were like i get it i get it these epiphanies started coming in i get it these this laser focus of what i want out of this life started coming to you aries and there's just no stopping you now you understand exactly what you need to do to live a happy fulfilling life and the chariot card comes in on the bottom of the deck look at these major arcana this is absolutely fantastic this is a big big change for you major arcana always show these major life changes these major uh, decisions that we come into i see the decision making here with justice of should i stay or should i go do i stay in my old life and keep doing what i've always done or do i take this leap of faith like the fool says up there in the ether and do i just see what happens just see what happens get this enlightenment for myself 
three of swords because of the heartbreak you've been through because of the backstabbing because of the sorrow temperance is always protecting you for that Ar archangel michael is always protecting you from the heartbreak aries but you you had to take a minute to really process what had happened to you there was something that happened to you that broke your heart your mind keeps going over the event and you're really stepping away from that now you're letting it go you're letting the heartbreak go and that's changed everything for you seven of cups on the page of swords that's that overwhelmment you've been doing too many things you've been too busy taking on everyone's responsibility fixing everyone around you helping your friends helping your workplace helping your family just been too much for you aries you, you're just the caretaker lately taking care of the whole world and you can't see all the information you're feeling a little defensive about it with the two of swords sitting on the strength card spirit has definitely given you the strength to be this caretaker to be this steward of the consciousness right now to be the leader of the pack out of the sorrow out of the heartbreak and the um sadness that the whole collective has been in aries has somehow been chosen to lead out of this sadness out of this heartbreak out of this overwhelmment that everyone has been feeling it's like everyone had to go into isolation for years and now it's just bam life back in full force and aries is like oh my god i want to go back i want to go back into the isolation here for a minute because it's just too much it's too overwhelming with all of these major arcanas coming in for you the hermit comes in again to to clarify the queen of cups here so you've had to follow your own light through all of that isolation through all of that aries had to follow their own light to get out to get into a new place a new idea a broader perspective to climb that rung that uh, ladder of emotion and to find some happiness and some peace and in, in no matter what was happening around you there was always chaos around you but you knew how to do this you knew how to be alone you knew how to take care of the angst out uh, the sorrow you knew how to self-soothe here aries and that is what the collective is coming into right now so you're real a huge part of helping the collective soothe out of this heartbreak and isolation five of swords there's a competition that we all fell into in um, isolation I'm just seeing the pandemic here I'm seeing Aries sitting alone being used to being alone being comfortable with being alone with themselves and the whole collective freaking out out of being alone who am I without my work telling me who I am who am I without my friends who am I without the clubs without the gyms without the the feedback from the others telling me who I am well Aries never followed down that path Aries always knew who they were and they held that idea strong throughout this throughout this isolation where everyone went through like this uh, this midlife crisis who am I now who am I now where do I belong now after after the world shut down after the day of the dark <laughs> well aries you stayed so strong through all of that it was like you always knew who you were the competition started sparking up in social media and everyone's ideas and opinions because everyone was online reading about everyone else's ideas and opinions but not aries you just stayed apart from that you stayed your path with all of these major arcana you were the leader of your own life you weren't going to let anyone sway you one way or another of what to believe you knew what to believe here and that is beautiful because now that we're a little ways out of that now that we're finding some independence again finding who we are underneath those masks of who we used to be you are leading us right out into the light into this new age into this new era of uh, consciousness of being aware of being enlightened of, of being uh, awakened aries has been awakened eight of swords you've cut those bonds you've cut that blindfold right off your face so that you can see the full picture here it was like you were not falling for it you were not falling for any kind of influence i love this it was like you were blind you were deaf and you just figured this out all on your own you didn't need the help of anyone else page of wands comes out to clarify the justice card so that is you really finding your own light again your own passion your own way you didn't need anyone to lead you out you were the leader here and that leads to wishes fulfilled after a very long time of waiting this is partnership this is money this is happiness this is abundance and it's been a minute aries it's been a minute that you've been finding this enlightenment that you've been finding the way out of the dark here and you did it you are not only out of the dark you are well into the light and into the happier side of life now 
page of swords you have people watching you there's somebody watching you from afar that has not approached you yet but boy do they want to aries they want to approach you they want to send you a message uh, an invite a they just want to be around you they they feel your energy you are emitting this energy of happiness and fun and joy and and security and uh independence and they want that they've been watching you they're watching your social media if you're not on social media they're watching you from across the room they're just they've got their eye on you and they want to approach you they want to approach you let's see let's see what that's all about with the page of wands who is this person that wants to approach aries five of cups somebody who also went into isolation also had to learn these rules of enlightenment had to let go of the three cups that were spilled on the ground to see those two cups behind them so this person is uh, very very interested in you and your light they're going to turn around and they're going to say hey who are you hey aries can we go do something can we get out of here can we <laughs> i love that it's going to be probably the week of the first this person is going to approach you it's going to be wonderful. You're going to really, really like this person. You're going to feel an instant, instant attraction to this person. You're going to feel an instant bond. doesn't matter uh, where you connect in this life. If you've met them already and you just have this bond, you just have this soul connection that you can feel. Or if you're about to meet them, you've known them forever. You've known them for many, many lifetimes. And uh, with the lovers coming out on the Six of Pentacles. And this is reciprocity in love. This is finally them reaching out to you them trying to get you to notice them finally it's not you trying to reach to them reach out to them it's them reaching out to you hey can you see me hey hey can you hear me do you want to go out it could be a best friend in the making it could be a romance i think it is romance with the lovers but romance is always kind of more fleeting than these soul contracts that uh, really go deep and this one really goes deep for you you're going to really find some solace in this relationship that is about to come into you it's going to last a very long time maybe the rest of your life this person is going to be a part of your life it's a big big uh, meeting with all these major arcana after some rest after some rest after the battle for four of swords clarifying the ace of wands and the death and rebirth here so yeah yeah you've got somebody coming in that's going to soothe that broken heart that's going to remove that blindfold when it comes to really romance and um, relationships and 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 the two how similar they are how a best friend is so similar to a lover here and how they're one in the same but it just goes so much deeper for you so this is going to be a really profound relationship coming into you um, the week of August 1st, 1st, after some rest, after the battle, after some heartbreak when it comes to love. And they're going to remove these bonds. They're going to help you to remove this blindfold when it comes to love and relationships and soulmate energy, real soulmate energy. Like I said, it doesn't have to be romance, but it's a true, true bond where this person will uplift you, this person, and you uplift them too as well. You have this this light shining the way for each other so that's really really beautiful i love to see this coming into you please let me know in the comment box if this resonates about this relationship coming into you because it used to drive me crazy when card readers would say that and you're like yeah but when but this could mean a really really deep deep friendship coming in for you and it is a wish fulfilled it's a partner that you've been wishing for for a very long time so i see like best friendship here but that could lead to definitely lead to something deeper as you move along this path of yours with the courage and strength and this person is already watching you they've got their eye on you they may have already reached out but they're going to send you probably a text message to start out with with that uh night of cups so that's going to be how it starts so beautiful i love this aries please let me know uh, if this resonates with you at all and look six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck to match the six of pentacles under the lover so this is a reciprocal relationship all right aries let me know how you like this reading if you did like it please hit the like share and subscribe buttons and i will definitely check in with you soon thank you so much for watching